Hello students. Let's continue our journey through practical geometry. In the last session, we discussed the construction of special quadrilaterals like squares and rhombus. Today we are going to construct another special quadrilateral, that is, the rectangle. As we have seen in other special quadrilaterals, even rectangles do not require five measurements to construct it. We can construct a rectangle when two measurements are given. Here, we construct a rectangle when the length of two adjacent sides are given. In order to construct a rectangle, we need to remember some properties of the rectangle. We know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Each of the angles is a right angle. The diagonals of a rectangle are equal in length and they bisect each other. Let's see how we can use these properties in the construction of a rectangle through an example. Construct a rectangle ABCD with adjacent sides AB equals 7 cm and BC equals 4 cm. Before the construction, let's draw a rough sketch of rectangle ABCD. With AB equals 7 cm and BC equals 4 cm. Remember the properties that each angle of the rectangle is 90 degree and opposite sides are equal in length. Therefore, angle A equals angle B equals angle C equals angle D equals 90 degree. Now let's begin the construction with the side AB. Draw the side AB equals 7 cm. Take a protractor and make an angle of 90 degree at vertex A. The point D is at a distance of 4 cm from A on this ray. So take a 4 cm radius on the compass and draw an arc centered at A to get the point D. Now place the protractor at B and make an angle of 90 degree. As earlier, mark point C at a distance of 4 cm from B. Now join C and D to complete the rectangle ABCD. Let's conclude. In this session, we constructed a rectangle when two adjacent sides are given. We can also construct the rectangle when one side and a diagonal are given or one diagonal and an angle between the diagonals are given. Before winding up, let's do an activity. Construct a rectangle with two sides 5 cm and 7 cm. That's all for now, see you all in the next class, with another interesting topic.